so welcome back to new video so we have left here yesterday we were at war with gongsun su jeng and in the last video we have vasilite samok so let's focus here gongsun but despite they have a small territory and fragmented all over the china we still don't have a army to sustain it they have only two retain and even if we conquer they have another army to check us so we will focus more in one one lands and river the river lands in this two area so our today plan is to take budgu one of the two free kingdoms of nanman and pretty much we will just defend ourselves we are not going to be aggressive with gongson we'll play defensive yeah friendly to half of the settled half of the kingdoms and we have a re respected reputation that's a good thing I'm only concerned about the Chiu. Sooner or later, he, he, Cao Cao may declare war on us. Glad tidings. He has spread his forces, but still he is not accepting as an ally. Nor he has made any alliance. So interesting. They have a quite good army, capable to attack, but not for long. So we cannot. We can defend, and they can attack. That's the only thing here. There are no for. There are no horsemen to replace. Sadly, we'll construct some building here, and our entire this. They have all the jobs. Let's research something. We need more spies, as we were speaking in the last video, so we can focus there. As we can see, there are only four. Liu Bei is roaming around with gaining nothing. <laughs> the problem with Liu Bei is that even once we become powerful and declare ourselves emperor, he may be the one who will revolt and declare himself as emperor, and following with Cao Cao. But we need all of the kingdoms all around us to be weakened. That even if they declare, they would be quickly abdicate and be defeated. So that's why we will destroy not entirely, but yes, we will destroy them. Okay, it's lagging. What the hell? Okay, we are back in the pace. We have the favor. But whom should be made public anyway? They are all good, and they too have hundred percent influence. Sad. There is no point of attacking. They have not two armies as expected. What can we can recruit? Mm -hmm. As our plan, we are going to bring our forces near to Wudugu. Once Wudugu attacks, so it declares for for any reason, then we'll suffer. Wudugu will suffer. We'll take control of rival lands. So that will also keep Liu Yan under our control. He may not revolt. Mulu is having a good time with us. That's a good thing. So we have almost taken over Nanman lands. Indirectly. Now we can disband this two units because now we are still we are specialized some more, so we have no threat right now. Some buildings will construct randomly, but today we are going to focus on more town, town centers, major cities. That means we have to upgrade them more because there will be more garrison demand. Meaning, if once we started upgrading it, Liu Bei is roaming around <laughs> for no reason. Why? Yes, come here. Yan Bao has taken a little bit freedom to cross our lands.
they are not attacking at all they are also waiting that we will attack we will play defensive with dungson mm. none of our concern ignore this thing is very bold maximum will attack through indirectly itself with dungson's lance Let's take a Chao Ren or Yu Jin. Chao Ren it is. Unfortunately now we don't have any catapults. So we cannot attack directly now to the major city. Liu Yao has also sent his army. Good. So our one ally is here. Yeah, some construction. Yan Chao is taken. Tan Kuan is taken. Liu Bei is taken. And uh, all Nanman kings, almost all Nanman kings are taken down. And Fu Khan Empire, Liu Dai, Liu Yao, Kang Rang, all have been taken. Now our target would be Yan Sao, our old friend. But for now we won't propose. First we'll defend our city. Then we'll propose with this. We'll put him in ambush so that he may attack and we can destroy on land. Browse the tiger of Jiangdong. Sun Jian is taken command and he will settle there. So, and his son Sun Se is still alone here. Caution, what we can do is we will send him to this major city. If someone attacks from sea, we can attack them back. So it will be a good counter attack right to the first south. So it will take one more turn to reach level 3. Okay, we can wait. Support vessels by asking the thing just sign deal. Your proposal is sound. Whom can we create? Hmm, we can create Yansu. Let's take a pleasure. Vasilized and guaranteed. Hmm. We'll take a little bit of Alan. Again, we have to make weak. All forces should be weak because once we become emperor, there must not be any enemy to challenge our right. Let's give him some of the money, or if needed, on salaries. If we have one, yes, we have it. One, two, we can take two, it would be greater. Three. So three it is done. Now is our vessel. Even in bondage, we remain unified. So deal signed. A successful Bloody hell. He has declared war. Okay. There is so, no way I would So Yan Sao, the pirate. White tiger. He has declared war on us. And he's near our land, so we must attack him or wait and wait for numbers. Mm, that would be a wrong move, but we have only one force, so we'll what do you wish recall to so say Liju and this general. They would be taking la uh, this lands. And, hmm, sorry. They will take enemy lands. Glad to see you. And Hengu will take Yan Bao himself. So we must we must not be very careless with it. Let's take him. Okay, it's ambush, so we have to change the stance first, Lord. 
an incident. There we go. Delicate. We can do. But it's close, evenly matched what we can do. Delicate. Now we have to make peace with Dong Son. Because they, they can attack Our us now. Was just we will play diplomatically now. First we will finish this. Man, bro. Let's take Peace his entire army. So they are dead. Why it's lagging today? Wonder. Today video is lagging. Heaven rewarded our video. passion. So no worries regarding it. It's Duty awaits. Yep. So that unit has joined us. Victory. Actually, Anba is strategically in a very good position. Once we take his lands, we'll Seize make the capital there. Okay, Gangsun is asking for peace. She will get. Mm. We'll ask for uh, this territory. Let's take it here. 28, right? So, hmm. here we go, trade. We can trade, huh? Why am I <laughs> why I'm adding for money? We can trade then. Here we go. So we have Logic proposed a deal. We have taken one settlement. A piece, so it's good. In future we can attack properly. And Yansu can attack and assist us. So today our main focus would be on Wutugu and Yanbao. Sooner or later Wutugu may attack us. I have that feeling. May attack. Good. Oh. Let's recruit. Okay. So there. What we can do is in Pang we'll recruit one army and we'll bring Ong Yi to Poyang. So there'll be two armies in Poyang that will start expansion in Yan Bao's territories. So now we have from the recall forces, we have brought Sun Se, Lee Zi, and his normal gang. Man Gang. I can't spell, sorry. So, and one commander, we would say. There are no heroes as well to recruit, sadly. So, we'll defend first these forces and then we'll start expansion from Sun Se himself. What can we construct of this? Okay, okay. No worries. They will take care. We'll send this woman, Lady Wu, for more trade. At ease. Slowly, slowly, we are going near Butugo's territories. We can also see Liu Bei has taken the Bar territory. Greetings, Warlord. Dead. Wutuku has not that much land, but still, he has big, big lands, which kind of advantages once we get that. To see properly, we are almost dominant power here. We could peace. No, nope. you declared war on us. This is your choice. We were friendly it's with you. Foolish one. I don't understand Gongsun move. Boom, they are attacking now. Because we have peace with them 
and our vessels are also at peace with them. This should meet anyway, with so war to There we go. As I previously said, I had the feeling we'll go to war with war to go. And our army is already there, so we don't have to worry about what will happen next. Okay, okay, okay. First, we'll attack her. She fled. We'll attack her. And with the garrison, we'll defeat them. Feric victory. <laughs> what is the map? Where are we fighting? Okay, that is kind of our advantage. Let's start battle. This Feric will convert into close victory. So, we had faced two defeats last last video so in this we'll win we'll consolidate our forces and we'll expand brutally and aggressively now now we are as per the plan we are going we'll attack Wutugu and Yanbao southern west and southern east will come under our control it took take another week but definitely because we need this, those territories, Yan Bao. They're strategi strategically located well, and we can shift up capital there. Once we declare our emperor as an emperor, then what? No one can touch us. Okay, so we are infantry base. So, and we'll put basic right now. We won't make any formation. Just basic one. Because we are going to be using cunning moves. We are going to hide a cab. And one commander. Mm -hmm. Flame. Stand ready. To attention. The time has come. Enemy reinforcements are on the field. So let's execute our plan. It's a quite empty space here. We can bring our forces here. But we'll again we'll put our cavalry in. We'll put it hide. We'll hide those cav and we'll put one commander under them. We can see two commanders, but then I think against our forces and commander. Yanbo is basically cannot withstand our forces. He can only delay his defeat. We will make a move once we are sick. Sure about their troops. We will begin with the cavalry by taking the flank. So left, west and east flanks are ready. Mm -hmm. Once we get location, we'll move our forces ahead to the open ground. Even their forces are gathering, so we'll have to wait somehow. Let them approach to us, and their fatigue will increase. Once we would start moving around for fatigue, we won't be in a state of tiredness, but we would be. Wind, up, wind it that can definitely benefit us in the end because we are a little bit fresh than the enemy forces so slowly slowly we are expanding uh, expanding sorry approaching towards the enemy so, so we'll keep these two cavalry in bay hide near the forest same goes with the other two they would be exposed quickly so we'll use them as the bait. They will think that this cavalry force is a hideout of a big army behind them. But basically we are a little bit behind. They don't know our forces are way behind them. These two cav. Hmm. So their forces are also quite good. We'll take them down brutally. It is time for you to die! Soon she will begin with the duel. Let's see it. 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 Let's see
see the ruin of the opportunity that is for sure no one which can soon say make haste and ready ready can we forgot catapults leave it we won't need catapult right now we'll focus on infantry and missile to attack you are weak shut up and die make ready then Soon say engaged in single combat. We will win this duel quickly. We don't have to worry about defeat. Soon say will defeat her. <laughs> Even now, the forces are not aware of our troops' location. If you need to rest, I do understand. Even our forces are. Oh, how witty! How very witty! The moment they will enter, yes, I knew they would hide. We'll just bring our forces ahead, just approach, not attack. Once they are visible, then only we are going to come up for attack. Bowman, Here we go. Our hidden men have been seen. So they are not exposed. Now we'll send our. Men. And we all flanked it. Prepare! The Phoenix rises! We are giving our time good. The time has come! Make ready! Stand ready! <laughs> so all missile units are behind. And they would be screwed, screwed now by us. Steal yourselves. Already our cavalry has taken care of the all enemy, enemy warriors units. are running ha! in the west and now in east. Our cavalry rest men. forces, Fight. cavalry forces are destroying. The fire is not affecting a lot to us. That's kind of good thing, but still, we have to win with less casualties, not more. They are wavering. Good enemy has started wavering with the fire because of fire, and all missile units are fleeing. The duel is taking a long time. I thought it would end quickly, but nonetheless, we have time today. So we don't have a 20 minutes time, so we can take them with ease, with no hurry. There we go. Another unit fled. The last couple of units remaining, and two strategies. There we go, we have another force as we can see. Let's attack them. So we are almost going to defeat the commander. But it will be sooner the better. The enemy unit flees! Why we are dead? What cowards! Still, she is fighting us. Finally. Ready. So two commander remaining. Yes. To battle. Once we defeat them, this battle is over.
rest of the forces are gone they are dead they are, they are fleeing We don't need Sunse or this one man commander to defeat this strategy. How bloody hell this Trebuchet is killing our own army. We'll just stop them. Yup, the both are wavering. Wavering and one started clean. The other will soon follow up here. There you go. We have won. Close victory. Heaven rewarded our passion. Well, they deserve nothing less. Killer. I will take this settlement. Fight with utter belief, hmm. and you will be undefeatable. This shows much potential. So Hong Chi will take another Bayong settlement. That's there. Gong Chang. We'll take that in the next round. Docking. So that's it. We can see that Yansu also has now one territory to see. So again, that your Bui is the main major threat to us, and obviously no kings. But we'll take them later, one by one. We would be no non-aggression pact. So here it is, reasonable offer. Rational thought elevates the spirit. So you are in the town. Okay, we cannot attack, so we have to wait one more turn. Attention! No worries here. First, we will construct some building. Now, what can we take? We have demolished this pirate building. We don't need it. Wang Wang is very simple and he has taken Taiwan. So let's move towards the enemy forces of Wutugu. We'll attack Chigyang. It will happen next turn. Two settlements we'll take next turn. We'll take Lubu's Bar settlement because we have to Welcome, entirely friend. take control of Bar province. We'll give him an offer, proper one. Beneficial to both of us. Nope, Lu Yong. Ba. 37. So we are going to give this money. Obviously, we have a lot, so we will give it to him as a loyalty. Also, he has shown. We'll de issue decree. There we go. We'll send some trade or ancillaries. Not this. This. One, two, three. One more. And four. So here we go. Here we Such have taken the bar. Is Main Yet major town. Yield. Sorry, not town, major city. And town. So Wutugu forces are 
forces as well as territories are reduced while we were at war with samok wutugu had a two strong army but now they are also like half dead so they are now actually we are using divide and rule so we are able to easily take them one by one but we have to defeat them entirely in future that would be a long campaign anyway presently now we will take two settlements okay and gongsun is also now in with better relationship with us <clears throat> no no we won't let him kill pay for the so and they will pay for this kidnapping as well so there is only one yep so one notable character we have recruited we cannot send any uh, active spies okay they are all worthless that means and half the people are the ones who are showing to betray their lords are our vessel themselves so we don't need them white's attacking to the minor white's lagging a lot celebrate we have attacked and taken the poyong this belongs to us now so we have to take in next turn we cannot take in this turn at ease yep so yo we go we took this as a assault so thank you for watching this video so do like share and subscribe to channel and we have to reach 5000 subscribers so let's make it happen and file like views let's do it within this year we will do achieve these two objectives so bye and take care we'll do next saturday